Hi y'all, welcome to Maddie's Kitchen. Today I'll be making y'all some corned beef brisket. And here's my, this is my brisket. This is three and a half pounds. And it's a little fat, I could have tucked this fat off, but I did, you should leave it on. And when you're cooking it, make sure the fat is up. And it's gonna, this is three and a half pounds, like I say, and it's a pound, it's an hour for each pound. So I'll be cooking this about four hours. And then I'll have some carrots. I'm gonna put the carrots in there, the carrots. Okay, here's my onion. These are yellow onions. Now here's my cabbage. And these are some red potatoes, small. All of these are small. And when you're cooking it, have it almost the same size so they'll cook e equally, you know, evenly. You don't have to worry about overcooking the potatoes or overcooking the carrots. When you, potatoes take a little longer. And so I, that's why I got them almost the same size as my carrot. Okay, and then for my uh, brisket, this is a honey Dijon mustard. I'll be using some of that. And here's that. And I'll be using some brown sugar. This is three tablespoons of brown sugar, and this is a half a cup of uh, mustard. Okay, I'm getting ready to wash my meat. You should wash the meat because it needs sodium in it. Wash it real good and see, I said it wrong. Here's the fat. I don't know what I was talking about. I wash it real good. I already had pre-washed it and stuff. I'm talking about the fat. I made a mistake, y'all. Here's the fat right here. I don't know what I was talking about or what I was thinking about. But make sure, when I say when you're cooking, make sure your uh, fat is up. The fat side is up. Okay, what I'm getting to do, getting ready to do is I'm gonna put the brown sugar, the three tablespoons of brown sugar, and the Dijon mustard. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix this together, mix it real together. And stuff. You don't need much season with uh, brisket. You really don't. Don't try to over season it with all that stuff. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and glaze. I'm going to rub this over here. Rub it over the meat. See, I'm going to rub it over the meat good. Put it in here. Like I said, Dijon mustard and some brown sugar. That's all you need. Just rub it on there good so it can go all over the meat. All on the sides and stuff, and wrap it around the sides. It's gonna get on the pan, but it don't matter. Just have a little bit more. But make sure you do. And I'm gonna turn it over and rub it too, because this is flavoring it really good. Just rub it down here. Have me some gloves on. Matter. I always cook with gloves. I was wondering, did y'all see my other video? The one with the um, pork and beans and the hot dog? That's a good little video. I used to eat that when I was little. Okay, you all. I, you know, a little seasoned pack, a little season came with the meat. And I don't really trust, I don't know what's in this. I'm going to put just a little bit to be safe, just a little bit on here, because I don't, I don't know what's in this package. So I don't kind of, I don't use the season that much. I just use my own Dijon mustard, like I said, brown sugar. It don't take much season to, uh, to corned beef brisket. It don't take that much. That's a good taste of meat without a lot of seasoning. And I'm gonna pour, and when you're cooking it, you should pour your water around it. Don't pour it on top, just pour it around the meat. You don't wanna fill it, just pour it, see, around it, and you don't wanna cover it. So I'm gonna let this bake in the oven. I'm gonna let this bake. That's all you need if it uh, go. You have to cover it really good with aluminum foil. You cover it with aluminum foil. Make sure you seal it. Because it's gonna cook. Now, like I said, it was three and a half pounds. So it cooks an hour per pound. So it's gonna be about four hours. I'm gonna cook this about four hours. Cover it up with aluminum foil good. You have to do this. You need to cover it up. And you're going to let it slow cook. I set my oven to 325. And uh, it's preheated to 325. And I'm going to let this cook for, like I said, it's three and a half. I'm going to let it cook about three and a half hours. And I'm going to check it. And if it's, it should be real tender. So you shouldn't open it up. Don't open it up to after those three, about three hours go by. And see how it looks. I'm also going to put this top on it to extra fill it. Okay. Now, 
I'm gonna put this in the oven and I'll see you all in about three hours, three and a half hours. The oven is already preheated. I'm gonna set it in there in the oven and let it cook for about three and a half hours on 325 heat. Okay, and I'll get back with you all. Hey y'all, welcome back to the kitchen, to Maddie's Kitchen. I cooked the uh, corned beef brisket for about three hours, three and a half hours, like the instructions said on the label. Now I'm taking it off, <laughs> like a little small piece of meat. Okay, and I'm gonna transfer this into the pan, the pan that I'll be cooking. See how tender that is? That's tender. Put that in here, okay. Put it in the middle of the pan, and I'm gonna cover it up so it can stay uh I'm gonna put a little of this juice in there because I want a little juice in here, just a little bit. Pour it to the bottom. Okay, and all this uh, uh, liquid that came from the brisket, I'm gonna cook these vegetables with it, They're separate. Now you can take in, I'm pouring this in here. Because I need this juice. Now you, what you can do is you can also, you can uh, put the, uh, the vegetables around your uh, meat and cook them in the oven with the, with this liquid. But I found the best way, if you're first cooking it, cook it like this right here because um, it's easy, you know, to cook it separate because you can taste it. Sometimes when I put the vegetable around it, the meat around it, the I found out that the vegetable is not as good if, unless you cook it separately. So I got a pan for each one of my vegetables. So I'm gonna cover this up. So it'll stay dry. And this is gonna go back in the oven. Once my vegetable get cooked, I'm gonna put it back in the oven. The corned beef is done. Let me show you. I forgot to tell you this, but this is done. And when you're cutting it, hold this knife. So you're gonna cut it against the grain. See how that look? You cut it against the grain. If you saw some strains, then you cut it the opposite way. I didn't even take my thing off my knife. See like this right? See how tender that is? That is so tender, see? And it's good. See, look how that looks. That looks good. That's how it's supposed to look. You cut it against the grain. Now, this just a string, it'll be wrong. But you cut it against the grain. Okay, I'm going to lay that right there. And I'm going to cover it up, like I said. I'm looking ready to start cooking my vegetables. Cover it back up so it can stay sealed. Okay, I'm going to start with my potatoes. These are red potatoes, small. I'm going to put them in here and let them put, start with my potatoes. I'm going to season them as I go. Pour some of this water off. Okay. Start with my potatoes. So they cut. Some of them might be cut a little bigger, so I'm going to take and cut this in two. I don't want to be too big. I don't want to cut myself neither. So we'll put it on a cutting board. Okay. Like this one. They're not that big, but it's just going to take them a little longer to cook. Okay, then, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this juice. See some of this juice from there. It's the same effect. You're just cooking it separate because you know why? Because it's easier, you know, for you to control it like this right here. You make sure all your vegetables season. You season with the juice because that's going to make it taste like the brisket, the taste that you desire. Okay. The only thing I'm going to put in here is a little pepper because you don't need no salt. And if I do need salt, when I finish, I, I, you know, I get some salt and I taste it and put it on there. So I'm going to let this go and cook. I put a, just a little pepper in here. Like I said, this is a meal that's good without all that seasoning. So I'm going to put this here. And if I have the season, I put a little butter in here. Because I said I put a little butter in here. Just a little butter to give it flavor. Okay. Just a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to start this to cooking. I'm going to let this cook. So yeah, cut the stove on, let's start cooking. Next, I'm gonna do my carrots. Put my carrots in here. Take them, pour the water off the carrots. See, all this is going around your, um, your uh, brisket. And you don't have to cook it this way as options, but this is the way I'm cooking it for beginners. Because like I said, it's easy for you to do it like this. I'm gonna put the carrots in here. Put 
a little, this raw, I don't hear this juice from the carrots, but the cat, you know, from the brisket. It'll be the same effect if you put it in the, uh, if you had to put it in the, uh, around the meat. The only thing is, it might not get, some of it could get done quick and some of them not. You just got to know what you put in first. And I know you always let your carrots cook first. But that's a lot of opening the pot and letting, you're going to get the same effect. So I suggest you do it like this. Right? Cutting my carrots on, they're going to cook. It's just going to have to wash a lot of dishes. That's all it is, what I'm doing. So I'm going to put the onions in here. I'm going to let, I'm going to cook these last. I'm going to let these saute a little bit. Put them in here. I'm gonna cook these only with butter. Put a little butter in it. I'm gonna let this cook. Cut the stove on. Okay, I'm gonna let that cook. The carrots are cooking, the potatoes are cooking, now the onions. All of this is good. I mean, you don't have to put onions around it. You don't have to put potatoes. You can just put, well, I, I think you need some potatoes and you probably need your carrots, but maybe the potatoes and the cab uh, cabbage you might not do. Okay. So I'm getting ready. I'm going to use this pot for my cabbage. Put my cabbage on. And what I'm going to do with the, um, with my cabbage, I'm going to cut up a little onion. Just put a little onions in here. The onion that's left over, I want to uh, season my cabbage with to get a good little flavor. Okay, cut these up right quick. Put this one my cabbage. And the reason they wet, I let them stay in wet because I did my vegetables. And you don't want the vegetable to turn brown. So you always should, you know, put it in, in some cold water. If you want to do the vegetable the night before, put them in cold water. And it's okay. You ain't got to cut these all that fine because they're going to cook away anyway. And I'm going to put this butter in here. Let the butter go and melt. And I'll get back with you when the butter melt. Okay, my vegetables for my, my onions for my carrot has sauteed it. And I'm going to take and pull this in here, pull my cabbage in here. And you don't have to cook any other vegetables when you're cooking this because you have already... Uh, you got the carrots, you got the onions, potatoes, you got enough vegetable and meat. You got vegetable, meat, and starch. That's all you really need for dinner, you know. You can add something else. I don't know, maybe bread or some type of bread, but I just, all I eat is this because I got everything I need. Okay, so I'm going to cut this stove on. When this get through cooking, most time I'll be through now. And this cabbage, I'm going to put a little pepper in here. Just a little pepper. So it can taste right. I got the sauteed onions. And like I said, the flavor from the corned beef is really all you need because most people just all they do is take and put the vegetable around the corned beef and they don't do that much seasoning, but didn't make it taste better. Here's the juice from the thing. I didn't use no water. I only used the juice from the corned beef, the brisket. Okay, I'm gonna let this steam a little bit. Probably put a little butter on it, just a little bit for a taste. You know, just a little butter for taste. Just a little bit. Make it taste better. Okay. I'm going to put the top on this and let this start cooking. My uh, potatoes, I mean my carrots, how they looking? They almost done. I think they're almost done. And now, here's my potatoes. They're almost done. You can see the juice from the uh, corned beef. Yeah. Cut that low. This low. Cut this slow. I'm gonna cut this off for a while to just start cooking. And then, ain't much more to do. After this gets done, you just arrange it around. Thank you. That's it, I'll get back with you. Okay, y'all, my cabbage is ready. Cabbage is ready, cooked in its own juice. I add a little bit more butter in it, and I add pepper. I didn't, I didn't add salt, I, I'm gonna taste it because of the uh, corned beef. 
uh, brisket is kind of, uh, it's already kind of, uh, it's kind of uh, salty. So the juice, that's what I use. I didn't use any water. Here's my onions. They've done. I kind of grilled them a little bit. And here's my potatoes. And here's my carrots. Here's my cabbage. That's my carrots. And here's my cabbage. And I'm getting ready to slice this meat now. Show you how tender it is. See that? See how good that looks? That looks so good. And it's not stringy because you have to cut against the grain. I asked the people in the meat department the best way, and they told me you cut it against the grain. See how good that looks? That's some good meat. And you cut it kind of, I'm cutting it slant because uh, it won't be on the grain. See that? How good that is? So I'm going to start this way. Now I'm going to this look because that's kind of getting to the, you see, I'm going to cut it this way. See how this piece look? Oh, that's perfect. See this piece right here? That's perfect. That's how it's supposed to look. This is some good corned beef, honey. I'll taste it. See, I'm cutting it. You Sometimes you can't make it even because that's how the, uh, you know, you're cutting the side and look, that's perfect uh, corned beef brisket. That's perfect. Slice all of this up. Sometimes you can't cut it an even cut because if you do, you'll get the grain and you don't want that to make it tough. And it won't even taste as good. See, this is some good meat. Side cutting, look how good it looks. Yeah. I paid a pretty penny for it too. I bought it in Publix. I love their meats. See how that is? That's making, that little piece made a lot of servings. Okay, there it is. And I'm going to place this in the pan. Place it in the pan, straighten it. See, I got some little juice to the bottom. Let me get this, move this cabbage out of the way so I can show you what I'm talking about. Okay. Put this to the end. See, I got a little water at the bottom of the pan because I'm going to put this back in the oven. I'm going to do it good. So that's some good meat, honey. It's kind of thick. I like for mine to be a little thick. Nobody says it's good. It's pink, I mean reddish color, whatever color that is. And it's good. And I got, a, from this little piece, I got a lot of uh, meat from it. See? See? Put it in here. This will serve about four people, maybe more than four people. It should, much as it costs. <laughs> this, this meat is expensive, but it's good. It's worth it. So I'm gonna put this in here. Kind of move this around a little bit so my corned beef. Now I'm gonna put the put it around. I'm gonna put the cabbage here. I'm gonna start with my cabbage. Drain the water off of the juice around it, off of it. Put it around it. It's done. And I seasoned it only with pepper and a little butter. And I put a tap of salt in it. Cause sometimes uh, sometime the uh, cabbage takes a little bit more of a... Now I'm gonna take my potatoes, put some potatoes around it. I'm gonna make it look good now, I'm trying to make it look good. Put my potatoes down here, my potatoes down this way. And this is a meal, honey. You can eat this meal. This is a good meal. It tastes better than it looks, because I, I mean, I love brisket. See, they put these potatoes, and these potatoes are good. I butter them, I season with the juice from the uh, brisket, and they are really good. They are really good, okay? Put that, make it neat looking. Okay. And I'll put my carrots. I'm gonna put the carrots down by the cabbage. Might not be the prettiest looking, but it sure tastes good. I mean, it really tastes good. I taste each individual. And I put my little onions around at the end. Put some onions down here. See my onions? And when you're serving this, you're gonna get, you're gonna give uh, each person, you know, Onions. And I grilled my onions. I put them in the oven, got them a little crisp, and they, they was cooked with butter and the juice from the uh, thing. 
Like I said, this is a good meal. Okay. I'm going to pour a little juice from the, uh, on the brisket so I can get that last season. So I'm put it, see, this came from the brisket, the water and the, just the brisket. I'm going to put a little bit on that so I can look good. Put it back in the oven for a few minutes. Get that uh, crisp on it. See? Put some on the meat, a little bit on the meat. That's it, y'all. I'm going to put it in the oven. I'm going to show you the finishing touch. Mm hmm Okay. That looks okay. I'm going to take this one up. This is kind of like an ugly potato. I can take and put one of these on it. And that's good. So, see? It tastes good. And it was it's simple. Like I say, it's simple. Let me put it in the oven for a few seconds. And I'll be finished with it. Just a few seconds. I don't want to be in here long. Okay. Hey y'all, this is my finishing touch. My cabbage, my carrots, my onions, and my potatoes, my new potatoes. And this is so good. I tell oh, that corned beef is so delicious. I don't think it was cooked good. I, all you had to do was take and put a little water in there and put you some Dijon mustard and brown sugar and then glaze it together. And the, I used, the, when I cooked my cabbage, I put uh, the water from the brisket. With all my vegetables, I use the water from the brisket so it can get that taste. Now, I could have cooked that inside with the water in there, put the cabbage in separate in the pan with the brisket, and I could have put my potatoes in there. But then when you do it like that, you got to keep on making sure you put your cabbage in last, make sure you put your carrots in first, and blah, blah. That's This is easier. And here's a finishing touch. I hope y'all enjoy it. Please make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, and share it with somebody. And may you have a great afternoon. Thank you for tuning in to Maddie's Kitchen.